From the historic underwater cable connecting America and Europe to the daunting route traversing the most remote corners of Brazil, and from the colossal dam extending to the horizon that rescued a nation, to the innovative trains traveling 310 miles per hour. Today, we will delve into the most remarkable megaprojects that have transformed the planet. The Trans-Amazonian Highway is one of the largest and most ambitious infrastructure projects in Brazil. Spanning over 4,000 kilometers, this road traverses the entire country, from the western coast to the eastern. The route encompasses rivers, forests, cities and more, and can take upwards of two weeks to travel. The idea of constructing such a vast highway arose in the 1970s, but construction only commenced in 2002. Its purpose was to expedite the development of Brazil's Amazon region and streamline the transportation of goods and people. The Trans-Amazonian Highway represents a vital piece of infrastructure, connecting regions of a country that were previously isolated. However, like many mega-projects, construction faced its share of challenges. One of the primary concerns is environmental protection. Traveling along this road, one encounters both pristine sections of the Amazon and areas scarred by deforestation for cattle ranches and soybean farms. Is the highway an engine of growth or a catalyst for destruction? The answer may be both. The Brazilian government contends that the highway fosters development and trade. However, critics argue that it has facilitated increased deforestation, loss of biodiversity, and challenges for indigenous communities. Moreover, numerous accidents occur due to subpar road quality and inadequate traffic regulations. Despite these issues, the highway remains an integral part of Brazilian infrastructure and has substantial implications for the region's economic development. Is the Trans-Amazonian Highway a bridge to a brighter future or a road to an ecological disaster? Only time will tell. Constructed over 85 years ago, the Afschlau Deck stands as a testament to engineering ingenuity, designed to safeguard the low-lying areas of the Netherlands from flooding. This 19-mile-long dam, separating the Wadden Sea, ranks amongst the most impressive engineering feats of its time. Thanks to its construction, a substantial part of the country was saved from catastrophic flooding in 1953. Work on the dam commenced in 1927 and spanned five years. The hydrotechnical complex aimed to shield the nation from storm surges and create new land for development. As a consequence of the project's execution, a vast area of land was reclaimed, upon which the province of Flevoland was subsequently established. This region of the Netherlands stands as a result of one of the largest land reclamation projects on the planet. The reclaimed area spans approximately 1,650 square kilometers. Over 812 million cubic feet of soil and rocks, as well as 46,000 cubic feet of concrete were utilized in the dam's construction. Throughout the dam, locks and pumping stations were installed to regulate the water level in the Usselmeer and Wadden Sea. In addition to its primary function of flood protection, the dam also serves as a vital transportation artery, linking the provinces of North Holland and Friesland. The A7 motorway runs along the dam, accompanied by a bicycle path. The Afschlau Deck remains a source of pride for the Netherlands and an essential piece of infrastructure exemplifying the Dutch people's capacity to coexist with nature and surmount the challenges it poses. You know that frustrating feeling when sending a message takes more than a few seconds? Today, it seems unbelievable, but until the mid-19th century, transmitting information across the ocean could take weeks. 
That's because, back then, the only way to send messages over long distances was by hand delivery. However, thanks to some incredible, albeit overlooked, technological achievements, transmission time was reduced from weeks to mere seconds. This monumental mega-project forever changed the world. In 1857, the laying of the world's first undersea cable across the Atlantic commenced. The cable was placed on drums aboard two ships, and each day they lowered three to four miles of cable into the water. However, the process proved challenging, as the ships often encountered adverse weather and strong winds. During the laying process, several hundred miles of cable were lost due to various problems, including breaks and malfunctions. Nonetheless, by 1858, the work was completed. The cable spanned 2,200 miles and was placed at depths of up to 1.5 miles. It was designed to transmit telegraphic messages between America and Europe, and its bandwidth was approximately 8 words per minute. The project was a joint effort by the British company Atlantic Telegraph, led by Cyrus West Field and other investors. The installation of the cable represented a tremendous achievement in communication technology and ushered in a new era of information exchange between continents. Thanks to the transatlantic cable, information on prices, declarations of war could be transmitted instantly. And to this day, 99% of data crossing the oceans is transmitted via undersea cables. Introducing ITER, one of the most expensive and complex engineering projects ever undertaken. Located in southeastern France, 35 countries collaborate on its implementation. The main equipment weighs as much as three Eiffel Towers and its cost is estimated at around $25 billion. The ITER project aims to demonstrate the capabilities of technologies related to nuclear fusion, including achieving burning plasma, proving tritium, a hydrogen isotope breeding, and ensuring safety. Nuclear fission is the process by which heavy atomic nuclei, e.g. uranium or plutonium, are split into lighter nuclei, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. The main drawback of nuclear fission is the high radioactivity of the waste, which can remain dangerous for thousands of years. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, is the process by which light atomic nuclei, e.g. hydrogen, combine, forming heavier nuclei, e.g. helium, and releasing an immense amount of energy. Nuclear fusion is the process that occurs inside stars, including the Sun. This is the process that the ITER project aims to recreate within the largest tokamak chamber ever built, with temperatures reaching 270 million degrees Fahrenheit. Nuclear fusion does not generate harmful emissions and is a safer process, as it does not create long-lived radioactive waste. The primary goal of this grand experiment is to produce energy based on nuclear fusion with a power output of up to 500 megawatts. The project is currently under construction and the launch of the first plasma is planned for December 2025. The result of this mega project could lay the foundation for creating industrial reactors based on nuclear fusion, providing the entire Earth with clean and safe energy in the future. Japan's Shinkansen, launched in 1964, led the field of high-speed trains for decades. However, since the early 2000s, China has aggressively developed maglev trains, surpassing Japanese technology. The result is the Shanghai Maglev, which has a top speed of 285 miles per hour and is currently the fastest commercial train in the world. But Japan is determined to break that record. In 2014, construction began on the new Chuo Shinkansen line, 
which will operate a revolutionary maglev train with a speed of 310 miles per hour. The project's goal is to significantly reduce travel time between Tokyo and Nagoya, the two largest cities located 176 miles apart. The journey between the two cities will take just 40 minutes. One of the challenges of this project is building tunnels and bridges in mountainous and seismically active areas. Over 80% of the route will run underground and beneath the Japanese Alps, requiring the use of advanced technology and construction methods. The underground route shortens the distance by more than 50 kilometers and saves 4.9 billion US dollars compared to alternative options, with a total project cost estimated at 80 billion dollars. The new line is scheduled to launch in 2027, but development is already underway for a new project connecting Nagoya and Osaka. The cost of building the section between Nagoya and Osaka is estimated at 30 billion US dollars. This project will usher in a new era of high-speed trains, offering cutting-edge technology and reducing travel time between cities. Some projects have already brought about changes to our planet, while others are yet to bring change, and the consequences of some may be remedied by our descendants. Either way, they all have an impact on us and this blue sphere called Earth. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episodes. See you soon.